What's going on everyone, it's me Bradley back with another Photoshop tutorial. And in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching the pen tool, like I mentioned last time. So with the pen tool, if you're a beginner and you're just starting out, um, I know it could be a little intimidating or it's not really that uh, clear on how to use it. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and just show you how I do it. Now, when I started, I was intimidated by a pen tool tool. Wow, let me say that again. I was intimidated by the pen tool too. Say that so many times fast. Anyway, so I, I remember I couldn't really use it. It was intimidating for me. I didn't understand it. So I would just use quick selection and quick selection is great. You can always use that. It's great, but it doesn't give you the precise edges that you really need um, to cut a certain subject out or cut anything out. And the pen tool gives you more fine edges, gives you a better detailed cut for lack of better words. So yeah, and also one more thing before I get started, you may want to get yourself a Wacom tablet or a Yugi tablet or just an editing tablet in general. You just go on Amazon. Um, I forget how much the one I have was, was called Yugi. I forget how much it's called, but I'll just put up the uh, a little thing from Amazon and show you what it is. But go on Amazon, you go ahead and get that and it just makes the editing process a whole lot easier. So if you really want to make the process easier and quicker, my opinion is use the editing tablets and it'll all be good. So yeah, let's hop into it and show you how the pen tool works. So I'm gonna start with this image here. This image is of James Lee. He's a photographer here in Richmond, Virginia. I did a shoot with him yesterday, which was pretty fun. And I came up with this image as well. And this is such a cool image. It's like a poster with his signature on it. It just makes him look awesome. It makes his photography business look even better. So yeah, you can even follow him at pretty much James underscore Lee underscore photography. And I'll put it here. So you guys can see that. Follow him, he has great content. So anyway, back to the pen tool. So, where I normally start is with the pen tool. I usually start from the bottom up. Why? I don't know. I just like to start there. There's no real rule where to start when it comes to using the pen tool. It's just really wherever you feel comfortable. I like to start from the legs because that's the most straightest part of the body and there's like not a lot of curves. So if their legs are just standing there or just straight, it's just easy to get that out the way. And that's why I prefer um, using, starting from the legs first, just go easy and just kind of get my flow going. Um, like I said, you don't have to start like that. That's just how I do it. So once we get to the complicated parts, um, like you see these straps here and all that stuff, that's easy. All you're doing is just basically connect the dots. So just put dots around the, the difficult, more uh, like if there's straps or any kind of weird, you know, anything, just put dots around it. You don't have to worry about, oh, I have to put a curve line. No, just go ahead and put dots around it. When you get to the curve parts, that's when it gets a little more complicated. At least for me, when I started out, that was the most complicated part for me. So we're here at the hair. Now, I said this before, when I use, when I get to the hair, I just trace the outside of the hair. That's all I do. Um, or the fullness of the hair, or wherever the hair kind of is dominant. But anyway, so when you get to the curve, the best thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and hit one point, which is the, like the starting point of the curve, and then the end point. You're gonna go all the way to the end point of the curve, you're gonna press and drag, or click and drag, however you do. Click and drag, and then it's gonna morph into a shape, or a curve. And then once you do that, once you get the curve right and lined up with your subject, let go. Then when you let go, the end line is gonna always face a different direction because you tried to curve it. So it's not gonna face a direction, usually it's not, of where the line or the outline is of your person or subject or whatever. It's normally not gonna stay in the same direction. What you do is to fix that is you hold down Alt or Option on Mac and then hover over your mouse over the, uh, the end part of the line and you just click it and you drag it to where you want it to be and it moves along with you and then you continue on your editing. And that's basically the premise of the pen tool. That's all you really have to do and then it becomes the most easy thing. Now it does take practice to get it perfect so you, you it's, it's awesome and then you know you don't have to worry about you know trying to figure it out. But um, also, and if you do end up making a mistake, the best thing to do, hit Command Z or Control Z. And if you want to keep, if you've made a lot of mistakes, hit Command Option Z or it's a commit and then it's control alt z i think that's how it is on uh pc don't quote me on that anyway so once you make your whole selection you're going to go connect all the lines and as you see when you get to the end it's going to have a little circle beside the mouse 
All you do is click that and then it connects your photo. What you're gonna do is now, there's two options. Either you can go hit um, make selection on top of Photoshop or you can go all the way down to the actual subject, right click and hit make selection from there, it doesn't matter. And then once that happens, feather radius will pop up, keep that at one, you click okay, and there you have a selection. And then when you wanna make the selection stand out, all you do is hit command J. Once you command J, it'll make a duplicate layer. Once you have the duplicate layer, go ahead to the background and make the background not visible anymore. And there you have it. Your background's transparent with your subject standing alone. And you can drag and drop your subject anywhere you want just as I did with the photo of all of him put together within one photo. And that's basically how you run the pen tool. So if this video was helpful, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, definitely would love to hear your feedback as well. Uh, but that's basically the premise of the pen tool. It's not that hard. Just get comfortable with it. Practice, practice, practice a lot with it. Just go ahead, take a photo of some books or take a photo of, I don't know, a tree. Well, maybe not a tree, that's a little too complicated. Maybe you should take a photo of or, or just anything and everybody, or just yourself. And then go ahead, try to cut yourself out. It's really easy to do. It's not that hard. And once you get used to it, oh, trust me, you're going to use it all the time. I used, like I said, I used to use quick selection all the time. Now I use the pen tool all the time because it's so much better, so much more efficient, and I can actually get the spots I want to get when it comes to pen tool. Because with quick selection, a um, little fact here, Quick selection only takes the darker parts of the photo. The lighter parts, it seems as like it doesn't see it, so it'll blend it in. So say if you had a white background, right? And then you took a photo and maybe it was a little overexposed. So part of the person's body was um, kind of overexposed and blends in with the background. Or like say the arm blends in with the background. The quick selection won't pick it up. It's going to think that's part of the background. It's going to go only the darker parts of the subject. So that's the only thing about it. But when you use a pencil, you actually can select it yourself and you can get a better results out of it. So that's pretty much it, guys. I'm Bradley Hughes. This is Aethmo Photography. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.